first step in this process is to uh, lay out our uh, our design. So the first step is to do my layout. The second step is, is I do a rough cut with the router. Let me show you where this belongs on the cabinet that I'm building. This is going to be a TV stand for our new TV and this piece is actually going to be on the end. I'm putting the same rosette design on the uh, front doors also. One of the things I'd like to mention is that since I am using oak, uh, I do take it quite slow, especially when I'm going across grain, uh, because the oak has a tendency being a, a hard, uh, coarse grain wood to uh, throw your bit off. So I generally do take it pretty slow when I'm doing this. Notice that uh, I also use a uh, stool that's on wheels. A lot of times it's more convenient uh, for me to move my body than it is to keep moving the workpiece around uh, into position. Also a neat little trick that uh, I picked up along the way, you might want to take note to the base on my router. Uh, this is a piece of wide plexiglass that I cut so I could keep better control of the router. And I also understand if there's any of you purists out there and you see me using uh, compressed air to clean my workpiece off, well, that's tough. I like to use compressed air, regardless of what tradition says. As you can see, this is quite time consuming. The uh, wire brush is one of the things that can really help keep you on track as to uh, how you're doing. On the sides, I did use uh, my uh, Dremel quite, uh, quite a bit to uh, help round things off and make the work go a little faster. If I had to do over again, I would have just used a, a straight uh, router bit uh, for my stop cuts. Uh, here I'm removing the waste up to the uh, router cut. And again, this is quite time consuming, but uh, I would do it differently if I were going to do it again. I'm sure everyone has their favorite chisels. This fishtail is uh, one of mine. I use it extensively. On my door pieces, I did not make this cut using a Dremel. Uh, you will see a final of the uh, door piece carving at the end of this video, and it's much better doing it by hand. I clean up using my uh, favorite chisel here.
I really flood the stain on here because I want it to uh, be dark in the, uh, in the carving itself. And I blend out the stain to the edge of the uh, panel. The carving on the left is the one I did in the video. Uh, this is the carving that will go on the sides of the cabinet. Uh, I used a combination of both power tools and chisels to do this carving. The carving on the right, on the other hand, the only power tools I used for this carving was to use the uh, initial router cut to get a, uh, a stop cut put on the, uh, the pattern. All the rest was done by hand. It is a much better carving. It's a finer carving and, uh, in my opinion, looks much better. It's cleaner. Uh, the downside of this is it took an awful long time. I probably I have two doors on the front of the cabinet and it probably took me about eight hours per door. So, once again, we can see that uh, handcrafting something generally is better than using power tools by hand.